Welcome to Amis to Sense. In this video, we are going to talk about shoes selection or choice of the shoes that you would like to make if you are going for a long walk. When I talk about long walk, I'm talking about maybe thousand mile or fifteen hundred mile walk. And I went for one of the walk from I decided to go from Karachi to Khanjab. That's from one border of Pakistan to another border, and the total walk is around sixteen hundred mile. I did around eleven hundred mile. So I did Karachi to Islamabad in forty days. During this uh, all the process, uh, I was uh, worried, like, okay, which shoes uh, I should choose? Uh, uh, you know, they, they, it was cold. You know, it was cold here in uh, December in the United States, uh, and it was uh, cold in uh, Pakistan as well. And uh, then uh, the weather was unpredictable in Pakistan as well because you are going from uh, uh, one uh, uh, side to the other side. Uh, the other side is where you are going to end up. That was uh, where you uh, would have a lot of snow. Where the, that's where the K2 is. You know, uh, close to that area northern areas of Pakistan that's really uh, get cold and uh, you need shoes according to that but my very first choice you might want to use uh, this uh, shoes uh, Essex so so I got this pair of uh, shoes uh, Essex and then I didn't end up only getting one I decided to get two so I can try them out and see how they work so I can uh, uh, kind of break them and uh, you know then take them with me uh, so what problem I see with this uh, shoes so one of the things I see that when I start walking here, I was walking around like 10 miles daily so for, for my practice and I see that this part is really hard and it start uh, creating uh, or uh, uh, blister on my feet, uh, both sides. And also I, the, the bottom uh, from, inner, from the inside is really hard, uh, hard as well. So this part is really hard and uh, that's where I had a lot of problem. Everybody is different, their feet are different so I'm not uh, gonna judge that like okay this company is worse or good but uh, it didn't work for for me so I went with this one then I went for another pair of shoes of Essex so this is a uh, another model I use and the uh, same problem I had they're very uh, hard uh, here and uh, also I had a, a blister on my feet after using them they're not too flexible either so here in the United States I use them in uh, different uh, puddles I have uh, on the kind of mountains uh, um, you know and uh, creeks and I use them on the roadside and uh, walk uh, many miles with this one but I could not really feel comfortable with both of these shoes so so with Essex, uh, um, I, my experience is not that great. Maybe they, they're good shoes for somebody. They're, they're good for the different feet, not for me. Next one, uh, uh, I bought this uh, uh, Merrell. Uh, sh these are the big boots uh, and I bought these uh, because uh, I had a plan uh, to go from uh, Islamabad to Khanjab uh, and that's where I was uh, feeling like it's gonna be really cold uh, the, the mountains will full of snow and uh, you know I would be walking right in the roads uh, but still uh, there would be you know a lot of snow and cold uh, and uh, these are waterproof and uh, I did not get chance to walk like 30 mile in these one I walk uh, uh, around 10 mile uh, in these shoes here in America they work for me but I cannot really tell you because I did not tested them enough with the Essex I tested them a lot I tested them for 15 days here in America I had a very rough time with the you know having blisters and all that uh, with the uh, these shoes uh, I didn't try so I can't really talk a whole lot about these one I am gonna try next uh, on my next trip because that's where I'm gonna go back to Pakistan uh, and walk from Islamabad to Hanjarab but that's around 600 miles and uh, that's where I will tell you how they work in the snow how they work uh, uh, with my feet and all that so but these are expensive shoes uh, they were around $200 or something like that 180 and uh, really nice shoes I wore them a couple of times in Pakistan when I was going to deliver some lecture in the universities I mean uh, looks good <laughs> you look like an athlete you know uh, you're going for hiking and all that so this was one of the my choice when I went to d deliver some lectures uh, um, on my uh, goal uh, that I walk for walk for clean and green Pakistan to create the awareness uh, so uh, this is my two cents on that one now uh, with the Essex, uh, I also they they were above hundred dollars. Some like as a together, I bought the two pairs, uh, and I believe I paid one hundred seventy dollars for both of them. I don't remember exactly, but they are expensive uh, uh, as compared to what I'm going to show you. The best work for me. Next, uh, I had uh, these uh, uh, shoes. 
Okay, so I bought two pairs uh, of uh, Nike shoes. I went to the store and uh, I asked the guy and uh, I told them, I am going to the walk from uh, one corner of Pakistan to another one and uh, I'm going to walk a 1600 mile right next to the roadside. So I bought two pairs of uh, these shoes. Oh, so one is this one and uh, you guys can see right there. These are Nike shoes around $45 something like that or you know 40 five dollar i don't know maybe fifty dollars uh, these are just the running shoes uh, and uh, what happened with these one i'm gonna put this down and uh, you see this is really flexible uh, you know uh, one of the problem i fa faced with this shoe uh, when i was walking uh, there was a concrete uh, right next to the road so all that gravel got in uh, so uh, there was a hard time for me to take this out you know i had a knife so i just uh, you know <laughs> all the time cleaning so but this shoes um, this shoe pair of shoe one thing I noticed with this one, uh, I walk uh, uh, around 100 miles with this one, but it was a hot some kind of uh, days in Pakistan, 195, 100, 105 Fahrenheit, and uh, the, I was very, feeling very hot with these shoes. So uh, my recommended one, the ones which you really work for me, I'm going to show you guys. So these are the ones that work for me. So these are the most cheapest uh, Nike shoes I found on the store at that time. I took uh, them, uh, they're very flexible and uh, you can uh, fold them if you want. And uh, uh, these guys work for me. Uh, I walk around uh, 500 to you know 550 miles with these. You guys can still see the condition of these shoes. I am using here uh, in America, I came back, uh, whenever I mow my lawn, whenever I go on my farm and all that, I'm using this shoe. This was around 35 to 40 dollar shoe when I bought it. So really good pair of shoes for me. I can tell like if I will wear this shoe, I can walk easily thousand mile. And uh, did not see whole lot uh, wear and tear on this one. Uh, you know, uh, even I was telling like gravel, still you can see some gravel here inside. So that's one of the problem. Uh, but I don't know um, if you are walking in the United States on non normal roads, uh, I walk in uh, puddles, I walk everywhere, I, I make them dirty still like I use them the for at my farm and uh, do all the activities, it works just fine for me. So this was one of the best shoes that I got in the very reasonable price and worked for me. So, and the other shoes I'm going to show you. This is the pair of shoes I got. Uh, this is a company called Keen and uh, look at this one. So these are the sandals I got. I was thinking like okay I, w I might wear them uh, when it is going to be like uh, uh, too hot or you know sometime I wear them at uh, evenings you know and all those. But I ended up wearing these for 600 mile or you know something like 550 to 600 mile. So I, I wore them and these are uh, made with a company called Keen. Uh, really nice uh, shoes. Uh, the only problem, uh, same problem what I see with the uh, Nike ones, uh, uh, the gravel get in. So here uh, every time I walk a few miles the gravel get in. So what I did, I, uh, I put my feet up uh, you know and uh, I had a walking stick and I just put that stick here and uh, like did this you know so it worked. Um, the, these were expensive so these were like a hundred and something like 150 or something that uh, I paid for these shoes but still you can see after walking 600 kilometer a mile uh, still good I wear them here in the United States you know uh, work best for me uh, I go hiking and all those kind of water and everything everywhere so they're really good. Uh, one of the not thing I noticed uh, I was thinking like I might go back and ask them a replacement because uh, I paid uh, uh, 160 or something dollars uh, and uh, uh, look at this guy so it uh, kind of you know uh, tear down from here or broken or whatever you call so uh, this is where uh, I feel like uh, okay but it still works I mean it works it's not like okay the, this outer side is kind of a little bit uh, you know rip off but uh, and uh, this I don't know this thing is coming out so I'm gonna just put the thing in back and uh, once uh, uh, I, I didn't go to the store because of the COVID-19 when I came back so I said okay I will go back once the COVID-19 is a little bit uh, uh, situation is better so I never went back but uh, I'm still using these uh, shoes uh, works uh, best you know uh, maybe it's worth of already I s use it <laughs> for 600 mile so I will just keep using it and throw it uh, and would not get any replacement so let's go back 
So these are the shoes. Uh, these uh, shoes you will be surprised. Uh, this shoes say Nike and a really nice design. Uh, and uh, I got these shoes uh, probably like a doll in dollar in from Pakistan. Uh, these are just uh, that they, somebody has local company put the trademark say Nike. Uh, anyways, uh, what happened here? Uh, uh, as I got a blister on my feet, uh, uh, I called one of the friend. Uh, uh, he's a doctor. He, he we went on uh, WhatsApp and uh, did a video chat and he said that you know you need to cut that and uh, let the water uh, get out. Out because I was keeping it uh, I was thinking like they, they will um, repair itself they will be you know fine uh, but uh, th this did not work for me so what happened uh, then uh, uh, I took did that treatment and uh, I had next day I, I walked the 30 mile and, uh, and then what I was in really terrible condition I was not able to walk anymore I did I kept going I said okay I'm gonna go keep going so I got these ones and uh, because I, I I had the goal to finish the whole walk of 1600 mile in 60 days that's what my goal was and um, that I couldn't finish because of the COVID-19 but uh, I, in uh, 40 days 1100 mile I'm, 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 I'm proud of what I did but uh, these uh, these one I got uh, because I had a lot of blister in my feet and uh, uh, that's where uh, I got these ones so I paid like a dollar uh, for these shoes uh, and uh, they're not really uh, you know I use them for like maybe only for 50 mile total uh, during the walk you know in different points or in, in some evenings uh, pretty good but uh, with the, that uh, blisters um, I, I didn't heal so I had to take a day off uh, got my antibiotics uh, and uh, that worked for me so from next day I was able to walk uh, not that like I was all good to walk but I struggled and walked so it, uh, I got recovered like in four or five days uh, even with the walk in every day 30 mile so uh, my choice is uh, if uh, I will go next time walk uh, in the just the right next to the roadside uh, for a thousand mile or two thousand mile I will not spend uh, uh, this much money what I have done on these all shoes so like uh, all these shoes you I will not get this these all I will just get uh, these uh, 40 to 50 dollar shoes whatever it is you know Nike shoes uh, these are the cheapest one uh, I have and the next uh, thing I will get these uh, for and uh, I can tell you, I can walk actually uh, all day long in these one without no problem. You know, if uh, there is a whole lot of dirt, you know, you have to sometimes just clean it, wash it. But uh, in the rain, we use it everywhere. I use it. So uh, also these one I use in the rain as well. The one I was showing you, the cheapest one here. And uh, if uh, situation uh, where I need to go like uh, really in cold weather, uh, then I will uh, use Merrell. But I have not tested for thousands of miles or hundreds of miles. So I will not uh, really, I can't talk a whole lot about that. I hope my two cents will help you to make a right choice uh, for your walk. And uh, uh, if you are going on mountain, you know, um, um, I don't know. Everybody is different. They might have... Uh, a good uh, experience with the uh, different shoes so my my choice is still if I will even go on mountains uh, I will use my these ones and I will uh, start with these one and uh, I will start with these you know uh, and we'll see how they do on the mountain and then change it if I have to change it with something different so thank you very much for watching and let me know which shoes you use if you go for walk or if you do walk hundreds of miles you know in your lifetime and which shoes work best for you thank you very much